This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name's Tim, and this thing that is not fitting into frame very well is the A&K M60. This is a huge MG, machine gun. Great support weapon, um, and great uh, kind of era gun, Vietnam style type of uh, Machine gun, and uh, unless you're uh, Sylvester Stallone or, or Rambo, it's gonna have, you're gonna have a hard time wielding this thing in battle because it's pretty heavy. All right, it's not nearly as heavy as the SOCOM gear Barrett, but it's still pretty big, and you're still gonna want to use the bipod a lot, and you're gonna want to shoot from a fixed position. This gun is full metal. Okay, everything that is metal in the grill gun would be metal on this thing. This handguard is plastic. This pistol grip is plastic, and this back part of this stock is plastic, but it's pretty durable, and it'll do the job, you know, so you can hold on to the gun. Uh, if I had a venture guess, I'd say this gun weighs probably about 19, 20 pounds, give or take. I do have a fully loaded magazine in here. Remember what I said about guys with small guns? They have small magazines. Well, the same holds true for the opposite. This box magazine holds somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think, 3,000 plus rounds. I uh, just took about 20 handfuls, didn't really count it exactly. A lot of moving parts on this gun, as you saw, I already moved the bipod down. This carry handle can be moved left and right and straight up. Rear side can be folded down and there are adjustments, I think, for distance, although you won't be using that because this is an airsoft gun. Since it is an A and K MG, it has the same features on it that the MK43 does. Uh, and the one I have in mind is the rate of fire adjust the knobby thingy and the lobby thingy right here alright so you can adjust the rate of fire I have a 9.6 volt mini hooked up to this gun ANK does not recommend using a lipo with um, the machine guns the MK43 included with this one um, looks pretty solid feels pretty solid let's go see how it shoots Alright, here we are outside. I have the A&K M60 in my hands. Uh, the last time I went inside, it was nice and sunny out, so I don't know what the heck happened. But I discovered something very irritating about this gun when I was putting the battery in. The switch for the magazine, this is one of those auto-winding magazines that winds when you pull the trigger. That way the mag's not winding the whole time, even if you're not firing. The switch is on the panel that's closest to the body of the gun, and that's also the space that they allotted for the battery. So whenever I stuck the battery in um, into the magazine pouch, it would switch the mag off and the gun wouldn't fire. So I've chosen the easy way out. I put the magazine right on top. If you want to fiddle with this when you get the gun to try to get it to work in here, good luck to you, sir or madam, whomever would be using this gun. Uh, you really need a little bit of upper body strength to uh, wield this thing around though. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's go uh, test fire this thing. Pay attention because this one is for you because the M60 is actually a little more lefty friendly than it is righty friendly. All right, since the magazine drapes over the left side of the gun, it's kind of hard to shoot this gun from the shoulder. Obviously, standing back here, I have the bipod mounted on or set on something. I don't have any problem shooting the gun, but if I wanted to shoulder fire this weapon, I'd have to reach all the way around the magazine, which I can do, but if you have shorter arms or if you're not as strong as me, it's going to be a little more difficult because you're not going to have the leverage. On the other hand, if I shoot the gun left-handed, there's nothing obstructing my right hand from uh, securing the front of the gun. So I can shoot this left-handed from the shoulder a lot easier than I can with my right hand. But then again, this is a pretty heavy machine gun, so most of the time you probably will be using the bipod, having it set on something, and then you can show the fire from whichever hand you want to. But the fire selector is ambidextrous, so like I said, it's a little more lefty friendly than some other guns. Now I've mentioned earlier that this gun is similar to the MK43. It has the rate of fire adjusting knob, and it's actually right here underneath the barrel. 
Once again, I'll hold the trigger down and you should be able to tell the difference in the rate of fire just by hearing the gun. Pretty cool, huh? The range and the rate of fire is drastic from turning the knob all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Got quite a few BBs left. I think I'm going to dump them. So the AK M60 shoots about 330 to 350 FPS or so. It's kind of hard to get an FPS reading with a gun that doesn't shoot semi-auto. This is a machine gun after all. It's full metal, comes with a very large magazine, has a rate of fire actuator switch type thing. And it's for sale for only $399 on airsoftgi.com. <laughs> Two Desert Eagles, a couple of beavers, and a gold watch. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna take whatever you want. 